praise you, Abba. You are good. Your grace and your mercy endure forever and ever so faithfulness. Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah 28, 16, 28, 16. Therefore, here's what the Lord of the, what the Lord of the army said. This is what Yahweh Elohim says. Look, I am laying in Zion a tested stone. Oh, this is gonna who this is tasty stuff, guys. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Y'all ready? This is, good. this is gonna be real tasty for you this morning. Look, I'm laying in Zion a tested stone, a costly corner stone. A firm foundation stone. He who trusts will not rush here and there. He will make justice the plumb line and righteousness the plumb bob. Hell will sweep away the refuge of lies. Water will overflow the hiding place. Your covenant with death will be annulled and your contract with hell will not stand. When the raging flood passes through, you will be trampled down by it. As often as it passes through, it will take you, for it will pass through every morning, day after day, night after night. Understanding the message will be sheer terror. <laughs> Let's go back over here real quick. Look, I'm laying in Zion, a test of stone. A coffee corner stone. A firm foundation stone. He who trusts will not rush here and there. This stone, this stone, this stone. We know who that is, right? And you know what's beautiful? Like in another place it says that, uh, uh, oh, don't let me get this wrong, Father. It says, uh, hey, Yeshua is the uh, no chief cornerstone, right, 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 right. And everyone who falls on him will be broken into pieces. But everyone he falls on gonna be grinded into dust. Either way it goes, you're gonna get broke up by the stone. But we're supposed to, you know, bring ourselves to this stone. Because it's tested and it's costly and it's a firm foundation. And a huge trust in this stone ain't going to rush here and there. And after the cornerstone house has been laid, now it's time to do what? Time to build. And what we build, we build in justice and righteousness. Plumb line, plumb bob, tools of building. Justice and righteousness. Now the cornerstone has been laid. Let's keep pushing. For... As the saying goes, the bed is too short for a person in stress and the blanket too narrow for to protect him from the cold, even if he cramps himself in. For Yah will arise as at Mount Ratzim, and storm will rage as in the Givon Valley. So he can do his deed. So he can, <laughs> so he can do his deed. His strange deed. And perform his task, his alien task. Therefore now stripping, therefore now stop your scoffing. Or your bonds will be further tightened. Well, you know about that? You know about the most high having you hemmed up? You know what? How about the police? You ever had the officer like put cuffs on you? Because he being a, you know, he being a a-hole. He want to. Go back there and make them suckers even tighter. Even put that little turn on there with your wrist or with your arm, your hand bent, your hand bent back the wrong way. And every time you try to fight against it, what what the mark do? You make it tighter. Don't care. Mm -hmm. Stop your scoffing, or your bonds will be further tightened. For I have heard from the Lord of the Armies that destruction is decreed for the whole land. Listen and hear my voice. Pay attention. Always remember, attention costs something. Pay attention. Normally it's time. Listen and hear my voice. Pay attention and hear what I say. Does a farmer sowing keep plowing forever? Does he never stop breaking up the breaking up and howling the land, his land? No. 
When he finished leveling it, oh, this is beautiful. Listen to this. This is like poetry. No. When he finishes it, he levels it. He scatters his deal seed, sows his coming, puts wheat in rows, bar barley where it belongs, and plants buckwheat around the edges because his God has taught him this, has given him instruction. Deal. Listen to these things. Everything is different, yo. Deal must not be thrust with a sledge or a cartwheel driven over common. Rather, deal one beats with a stick and coming with a flail. When crushing grain for bread, one doesn't crush it forever. One drives the horse and cartwheels over it, but doesn't crush it at the powder. This, too, comes from the Lord of the Armies. His counsel is wonderful. His wisdom is great. Listen to my voice. Listen. This this is he's he's saying something that's so common and, and, and it seems so mundane, right? But he's saying a lot here. That's why he's telling you to listen. Listen and hear my voice. And pay attention to what he's about to say. He's gonna do some old agriculture, you know, farming stuff, but pay attention to what he's saying. Does a farmer sowing keep sowing, keep plowing forever? Are you going to keep being plowed over forever? Does he never stop breaking up and harrowing his land? The Most High will stop crushing you and breaking you up. No, when, when will he do this? When will he quit breaking up everything in your life? When he's, when he's finished leveling it. Right? Every valley... Feel every mountain laid low. Make a path for your feet. This is what your shoe was talking about. Leveling, right? He scatters his deal seed. So is his coming. Puts wheat in rows. Barley where it belongs. Then plants buckwheat around the edges. So now his land is set up. So after you've been leveled, now he can sow into you. But he broke you up. Mm -hmm. How are you out? Broke you up. Leverage you. Now it's time to do some sewing. And he's sewing different things in you. Right? And he's scattering it all to you. He scatters his deal seed, sows his coming, puts wheat in rows and barely where it belongs, and plants buckwheat around the head. Because what? Because his God has taught him this, has given him instruction. And what is the instruction? Mm -hmm. The deal must not be thrust with a sled or cartwheel driven over coming. Rather, deal one beat with a deal one beats with a stick and coming with a flail. Now, these are like in my own personal life. That's what I've noticed. Different sin and different correction came with different judgment and different punishments. Some things I had to go go to jail for. Some things I had to go to another place for. Some lessons I had to learn. I had to lose a relationship. Some lessons I had to learn how to gain a relationship. Some lessons I had to learn. Was being surrounded by people. But a lot of lessons I had to learn was being alone. So every particular thing he wants to pull out of me and you. There's a particular tool or way of developing that in you. And they're all kind of different. Why? Because deal. This destruction that God has given. Why? Deal must not be stressed with a stress with a sledge or cartwheel driven over coming. Rather deal one beats with a stick and coming with a flail. When crushing grain for bread, one doesn't thrust it forever. One drives the horse and cart rules over it, but does not crush it into powder. This too comes from Yah. So every different thing in you that will manifest and bear fruit, a harvest. Like a lot of times we look at that word harvest and it's kind of vague. We harvest the souls. Cool. But this is letting us know that there's a little bit more to husbandry, to doing this harvest work. You got to have more. And this is what husbandry is. This is what, you know, tilling the ground is. Breaking up that, breaking up what's in that heart. Breaking up that stony heart. Breaking it up and breaking it up. But then, you know, your heart is, is deep. The scripture says it's deep. It's deep. Who can fathom it, right? So there's a lot that he has to do with us. And these things are all different inside of us and different for each one of us. But he understands. He already has the instructions.
So if you got this punishment going on for this reason, this judgment going on for this reason, this allocation going on for this reason, this 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 um you know this period of 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 that you may be going through where you've been worked on and worked over and being sold in is all for a harvest. And this particular harvest yielding different fruit, yielding different grain. You got it coming and, and, and deal and and and, 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 and and barley, barely, barley. You got all the different gifts inside of you. One body, many members. But it takes growth and development by the most high through the instruction given to for these things to be developed within us. So understand this. After he break it up, all these things here, listen to it. A beating, a crushing, a threshing, a driving over, a crushing. So even these different things, and they're all different, they got to get pulled out of you, they're still going to be involved. After the thing is broken up, after things are leveled out, and even after you have good seed in you, there's still a crushing involved, a threshing involved, a beating involved, crushing involved. Even after you've been leveled. Even after the first time you got broken up. See, this breaking up was just to make it good ground. Now it's good ground, it's level. Good ground we can sow into. And after what has been sown starts coming up, we got to take care of that too. We got to crush. We got to thresh. We got to beat. We got to crush. And what? This too. Come on from y'all. And his wisdom is great. Let those who have ears hear.